Hey, what up guys, John from Munger Fishing. This video is just me and my buddy Heath out tinkering around on one of the local lakes catching fish. There's no theme to it, there's no nothing. It's just literally he and I going out and fishing, getting some fishing footage. Um, so if just catching videos, you know, or videos of just people catching fish don't entertain you, then this probably isn't the video for you. Also, there are a few F-bombs dropped, so, uh, you know, I apologize for that. As they say on TV, parental discretion is advised. So, here we go. Enjoy the footage. It's John from Mongo Fishing, out here on Greer's Ferry Lake again. My buddy Heath. Let's stick some lips. This goes faster when it's turned on. Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, there's one right there. Go back. He just came right up off his lip. Yeah. I see Shad busted. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That was a different one. But I just watched him hit it. <laughs> Not hooked all that well. He's barely hooked. I'm trying to get another hook in him. There we go. Was that your first cast? Uh, I think third. <laughs> okay, where is the stick? I'm going to get the scale. 14 ounces again. All right, guys, so he's 14 ounces, fell short of the one, the, the one uh, pound mark. But if you look, see those black dot lines right there? That's one of the key identifiers, as is the smaller cheek scales. And then a patch of teeth on the tongue right there so this uh, dorsal fin notch is a key identifier too but i think that one's very subjective but there you go there's a few key id features between a spot and a large mouth He hit it on like the second pop. I thought I felt it, but I wasn't sure. And I popped it one more time. I was like, oh yeah, that's definitely a fish. You got that one good. Here you go, guys, fish number two. That was my jig flying off. <laughs> okay, well, let's go get that. Maybe. Good news is it landed like right on the back. Look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? This same rod... God, dude. Almost a lot of line on that. So this same rod gave me a problem during the tournament. Down a rod. Oh, well. I was telling Jen that's probably my least favorite rod in the world. Yeah. I hear about it last night. Like... I won't buy another one of those. Hmm. Let's try a swim bait. So this swim bait head came in uh, this month's 
hockey tackle box. Mm -hmm. It's a, uh, it's a little underspin. Oh, yeah. And I just put a Kytec on it. Nice. A little quarter ounce underspin. Yeah. Looks nice. I mean, I caught a couple, a couple uh, decent large mouth with it. All right, guys, so this one's a largemouth. So he has the, the little dotted lines on the belly like that spot did right here, but they're not nearly as defined, right? Also, if you look at the mouth, there's no tooth patch right there on his tongue. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then the fin thing they talk about is right here. So this one obviously has a deep dip between these two fins, but sometimes it's not nearly as defined as that. And his cheek scales are a lot larger so that's fish three. Are you just gonna hang out, dude? There we go. He's literally just holding onto my my freaking thumb. <laughs> What's that? So I can hear that creek. Yeah. So when we came out here during the tournament, that was a flowing river. Oh, like yeah. stuff's floating past us right here. <laughs> this whole area was just mud. What creek is it, you know? No idea. Large mouth guys. He's actually about a pound. He's got, he's got a little bit of weight. Another nice large mouth. He's fat. Like he took me straight in towards those trees. Lower than I thought they flew out here. Probably lower than they should fly out here. Maybe he's checking out fishing spots. If I was a pilot, I'd totally do that. There he is. Ah! He took my fucking swim bait. <laughs> you pick up and run? Yeah, you wanna go check his next cove? Yeah, there's uh, I'm not seeing bait anymore, so. Yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> Call my shot. Yep, that's a, that's the thing over there. <laughs> that's the shot I'm calling. Yep, you are. Yep, you are. 
Double up. Really? Yeah. Mine's a pound easy. Mine's about to be a pirate fish because I got a trail hook, got him in the eyeball. Nice little large mouth, guys. I think he's going to be a pound even. Pound and a quarter. One pound, four ounce. Here you go. So a double, huh? Yeah. Nice. That's a spot too, dude. Because of the more gold or... These lines right here? Oh, okay. I feel his tongue. Smooth. Nope, right there. He's got a tongue, he's got a tooth patch. Oh yeah, he does. Huh. That is like a two pound spot. Look this side. Uh, yeah, squirrel on the scale. That is fucking awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that's a nice spot. But ow. Ah, oh, good God. Being broken was painful. I picked it up and I went to go throw the jerk bait again, and my rod was snapped, and neither one of us had any idea of how the rod tip got broken off and it wasn't until I was going through this footage that I actually saw it um, but neither one of us had any clue so you know I've already contacted Luz and um, got a, I have a replacement coming um, so shout out to Luz customer service you guys are awesome I mean yeah it, I'm very very pleased with with Luz customer service um, basically told them that I have no idea what happened and that's because that's true I had no absolutely no idea what happened until I'm going through all this footage and all you hear is that one little that little tiny snap and the rod just move a little bit and the reason Heath was over there in the first place is because he got hung up on a tree and so we went over there to get him uh, unsnagged and I got the boat too far past and so when he stepped back is apparently when he stepped on it and so that's why neither one of us had any clue that it even happened but um, again, shout out to Lou's customer service. You guys rock. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. It's right down there. It looks like me holding the fish. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And drop a comment below. Tell me what you thought. If you want to see more of just fish catch videos like this, because I go out and I film a lot of those. Because I didn't have enough other content, you know, B-roll footage or whatever, a lot of these things get kind of deleted or whatever so if you guys want to see videos of us just going out and catching fish I can do that also um, again guys thank you very much for watching and as always get out of the water be safe and go stick some lips